we're going to be talking three new laws kicking on 1st July, Monday, 2024. The shift is to be noted here from Danda approach to data. That's what the entire shift and entire approach of these three newly implemented criminal laws. The focus is on Nyai instead of done new legislation priorities. The provision of justice, that is a provision of justice in contrast to the colonial era laws that focus primarily on penal actions. The very purpose is a better justice, speedy justice of these three newly engineered laws which have been just introduced on 1st of July, Monday here in India because our previous criminal justice system was based on penal actions. Something very important to learn here is like after about 77 years of independence, criminal justice system is turning completely Swadeshi, which is very important, which is also a matter of pride for our nation, for the nation of India. Now the shift is also to be focused, to be remembered for by all of us. The shift is from done to nyai, from delay to speedy trial and speedy justice. Earlier, the rights of police were protected by CRPC, IPC, and the Laws Evidence Act. But now, victims and complainants' rights will also be pro protected, will also get protection by these new laws, which are known as BNS Bharatiya Nyay Sahita, BNSS Bharatiya Nagrik Suraksha Sahita, BSA Bharatiya Sakshi Adiniyam. These are very important laws for our nation. In short, if you want to talk about new laws replace colonial era IPC, CRPC and Evidence Act. Bharati Nyay Sanita introduces new crimes and harshest penalties and tougher penalties for the offense for the commission of these uh, crimes. And at the same time, in short, we are covering focus on crimes against women and children and terrorism, whereas like these three new laws replacing IPC, CRPC and Evidence Act, if we sort of study them a bit little analytical uh, analysis if you want to have Bharatiya Nyay Sahita BNS has 358 sections as against 551 sections of the IPC Indian Penal Code. A total of 20 new crimes have been added to the Sahita. Now talking about Bharatiya Nagrik, Suraksha Sahita, BNSS, it has 531 sections as against 484 sections of CRPC, a total of 177 provisions changed in the Sahita and 9 new sections as well as 39 new subsections have been added. Now if we talk about Bharatiya Sakshi Adhinyam BSA, it has 170 provisions as against the original 167 provisions and a total of 24 provisions have been changed. Now the very focus, the very purpose, the very reason, the focal point of these three laws which have been recently introduced here on Monday, Indian context, is like crime against women is very much a deep and broad focus and crime against children a broad focus and the nation at the forefront, crime against women, children, and the nation are forefront. At the forefront, now if we talk about like almost 77, you know, about 77 years uh, of independence, criminal justice system is now completely a Swadeshi system because before this, a colonial system was ruling in terms of like IPC Indian Penal Code, CRPC, and Evidence Act. So these were the sort of mechanisms by which our legal system ruled, by which our legal, legal system and the law functioned and our criminal justice system was thoroughly and absolutely based on CRPC, IPC and Evidence Act. But now IPC has been changed and replaced by Bharatiya Nyay Sahita BNS and CRPC has been replaced by Bharatiya Nagrik 
Suraksha Sanghita, which is also known as BNSS, and Evidence Act has been replaced by Bharatiya Sakshi Adhiniyam BSA. Now, if we study the focal points such as women, children, and the nation. we can certainly say that these new laws new changes new provisions and subsections will certainly cause a betterment in our society if implemented well whereas the previous sections the previous cases pendency in our criminal justice system in a court of law in our courts they will be dealt uh, by previous uh, mechanisms such as crpc ipc and evidence act but now onward 1st july onward the cases firs will be registered under bns bhartiya nyay sanhita and all those like uh, what used to be covered by crpc will be covered by bhartiya nagrik suraksha sanhita and what used to be covered and what used to be traced under evidence act will be sort of you know addressed by bhartiya sakshi adhiniyam so these are like kind of swadeshi approaches we been following under the present government ruling government and it is such a possibility for us to uh, once again think from a swadeshi perspective and should have you know totalize our indian context our thinking our process be criminal justice system be social justice system be court of laws or legal systems the call is to have swadeshi so that is what we figure out by replacing crpc ipc and evidence act by these newly incarnated and newly manufactured and engineered laws and once again i would just like to wish you all the best and thanks lord listening watching you watching me so in this is dr swindu kumar speaking